everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading the colony section yet again for two quick cursor maps. They're not going to be too long, not too bad, not too bad. Just a quick little casual cursor map thing uh, from uh, JMAT. It's the first map they've ever made. Probably sucks, but give it a go, please. And let's just give it a go, you know? Who, who knows? Honestly speaking, there's not that many cursor maps left. Uh, and there are some for the Christmas time, so I'm going to be saving those for the Christmas time. But... Here we go. This is the cursor map. You know, it's not an auto build or anything like that, but we do actually have to nullify. So we do have nullification on the order of the day, but you know, that's all the way over here. It's not a big emitter or anything like that, but we got we got to nullify it. There's a creeper cap at 3.5. We will be turning on our map indicator as this is a cursor map itself. And yeah, let's uh, let's just get to it. Uh, we do have some plans going on. We wanna we wanna get pretty much all the sort of the split breeder first. You know, maybe get some this area, get this area, take this, and then just sort of be off from there. Maybe we'll take like the top side, take the middle, take the left. Who knows? Who knows? This area is very important, right? Look at that. All that split breeder. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, yeah. But let's get this show on the road. We wanna we wanna be cursoring. Come on, cursor. You can do it. You can move it. Go, go, go. Oh, it's so. Cursor maps are always so weak at the start. It's so weak to cursor. Uh, let's see if we can climb the hill. Too. We can. We can do it. Yes. Hold it down. I'd rather hold the gold than the uh, single breeder zone because you know that's that's split. I don't want them breeding on me. New, uh, new, 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 new. New, new, new. Yes. Yes. Much better, much better. See, now this is breeding. This is going to push it off. We'll be in a pretty good spot now because we took that split breeder. Feel pretty safe now. Feel pretty safe. And our cursor's, our cursor's doing fine. Our cursor's doing... Ooh, we can actually just... Now the key is every 30 seconds. Our goal is to try and take something every 30 seconds. That's kind of my goal. Even if it's a little thing like that, that seems pretty good. It's, it's, it's a little thing. But, you know, we took in 30 seconds. Whoa, that's drying up. And if we can take this, yes. Oh, uh, we got a big double there. Okay, that's, that's, I want to say huge. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Um, that feels pretty good. Honestly, I don't really mind that top left side. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, let's, let's. Let's just take some free real estate over here. I don't mind if I do, thank you very much. Uh, and can we even take this? Oh my gosh, we're, we're just speeding along this map at this point. Uh, really not much stopping us. So let's uh, let's take all we can, spread out. And yeah, we're just... Uh... Yeah, you breed too. Yeah! Just a little bit of extra breeding. Uh, yeah, let, this is going a little bit faster than I was expecting. I saw this map and I was like, eh, it should be pretty quick. Uh, I was not expecting this to be, like, zooming quick. But apparently, Baron's a bit of a zoomer. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. You know, I figured they'd be two quick maps. Uh, the second one, you know, doesn't have the highest average time either. So that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we have just a few seconds till the next breeding cycle. And again, we're, we're really just sort of demolishing things right now. So I'm feeling... I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. As you can see, I am slightly shifting my gaze to the top here. Because, you know, let's shut that down. Let's shut that down. And we can even move out from here. Because I think our goal, again, is to grab this split breeder section. This is this is the section that I really want. So, yeah, it's starting to dry up at the top. That looks pretty good to me. I think we can do some, uh, some damages here. And we got a good chunk. We didn't get all of it. But we got a good chunk of it, so I'm pretty happy with that. That, I think, is going to last us. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're not we're not completely taking the map by by any form of anything right now. But I think I think we have a pretty good setup right now. Uh, ooh. You know, this is probably better. Why was I going for the tiny little pittance over there when we can go for the big boys down at the bottom? Again, that is kind of our goal. We want, we want the most bang for our buck. And this is a this is a pretty good bang right here, you know, pretty good bang. So I will take it. This will get us a, to here, which will take us to the bottom, and then I think we can start planning out the rest, right? We can plan out the rest from there. But look, at this is gonna be this is a big win. Oh yes, nice and easy. Again, this is just this is just casual, relaxing. Feels so good before the next hard maps to come because everyone's challenging me with hard maps these days. It's a it's a it's a lot. It is a lot. And I think we're almost time to do some uh, some placement of some buildings. I think we can actually start placing some things now, which is also 
very exciting. Definitely want to do that too. So we have, we have a lot on our plate right now. A lot on our plate. And let's see, where can we land? We can land here. That sounds pretty good. I just want to land close to the base, you know? Might as well. We only need like two power, when you think about it, uh, to maximize our uh, efficiency, so to speak. So if we just do something like this, you know, just boop, 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 just get a couple towers. We don't need many. Just something like that. I think that's probably all the power we need. Uh, and that should get us the uh, the end result. So, yeah, our generation, not perfect yet. But again, it's expanding. It's expanding. I don't want our base to die. That is one thing I do have to note. Uh, and we can toss one here. And I think the nullifier can go there. Perfect. Uh, so now our nullifier is on the go. Our base is fairly safe. We have most of the split breeder on the map. Uh, we're, again, we're working on our nullification now, which is great. Uh, and we have just, look at our, look at our energy. It's actually going slightly up. We have literally like the, almost the exact right number of towers, which is fantastic. So what else do we need to take? Uh, okay, up there, easy days. Down here, shouldn't be too bad. There's some breeder for them. So we basically need this, this, and this. Um, where are we taking? I guess take over here, because it is, you know, a pretty good spot to take. Although, ooh, I don't want to lose this. So let's let's not lose this area for now, because they did they did get some of their own breeding going on. Don't want to lose our nullifier, of course. But yeah, we're 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 in the clear, I think. I think we're gonna do it. Um Oh, we're actually charging our reclaim. So our reclaim objective is being complete at the moment. Uh I thought we had to take the whole thing. So that's a little bit faster than expected. Let's just take the rest of the map again. It's super, super quick. We have another fairly quick one as well uh, that I looked at, and it challenged me to think. And when I get a challenge to think, that means, okay, I guess I got to think. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm up for a thinking challenge. Uh, I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I'm up for it. I'm always up to think. So the next one, I have to plan out our mode of attack. And I have a plan. I don't know how well it's going to work, uh, but you know what? It's a tricky map. And tricky maps uh, can, be, can, be, can be devious, although I don't think it's going to be too devious. Um, not too devious at all. Uh, bazinga. And wah, 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 wah. Nice and easy. There we go. There we go. Uh, I have a feeling my internet just went out. I don't know what's going on with my internet lately. It's a little bit of a shame. Oh my god. Where's the last little drip drop of... Oh, it's over here. Get out of here, creep. No more. All right. So I might not be able to check the times for this. I'll probably do an addendum like I did in my other video, but let's just see. Yeah, I can't do it. Unfortunate, unfortunate. So we did in 450 and 516.6. Unfortunately, I can't submit my internet's out. I'm gonna cut this here and I'll come back at the menu uh, and see what's up next. Be right back. Quick reset of the router later and we are back. Uh, let's just check the play log. We're at 450 and 516. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. 450 for the nullify is pretty darn good. There's a lot of people that played. Uh, and I wish I saw a larger list at once, but it looks like uh, 457. Uh, I think we did pretty darn good with that. Seems seems to have worked. Uh, five. Let's see. Oh, 450. There we go. So someone has a faster reclaim uh, for sure. But let's go over to Cursor 20 Relaxing Er. Because we did 2019, or uh, 2019, Cursor 19 uh, Relax, which I love that design. Uh, but this is just Relaxing Er. Uh, no tricks. Just take whatever path you like most. No stress. Just move the cursor around and watch the anti creeper overcomes the creeper. Creeper cap helps to balance it out. Uh, and yeah, let's give this a go. It's a very relaxing er kind of map. Welcome to an incredibly boring er relaxing cursor map. You have two choices. Either guide the anti creeper across the map casually or activate your brain powers and calculate whatever you think the best path is. Anti creeper pointed at becomes more. This growth depends on the anti creeper coverage of the entire map. Cleanse all creeper from the world to win. Uh, and this was made in 15 minutes. <laughs> so, 15 minute made map from Tricky. Uh, normal cursor maps take me at least an hour of editing and testing. Oh yeah, apparently I forgot to turn off terraforming last time. So yeah, we're not gonna, we, we don't do any shenanigans here. Uh, one thing to note though, the creeper cap is only one. 
super tiny creeper cap. So we do have that advantage. Uh, and I was challenged to activate my brain pan. So activate my brain pan, I shall. And our goal now is to figure out what is sort of an optimal route to take, right? Because logically we could say, okay, well, we'll take this and I'm probably gonna take this regardless, right? That, that makes sense. Um, this is very, very close, but it's very deep. And I don't want to take much creep away when I go for the uh, breeding zones, right? This probably won't be too much. Uh, that one probably won't be too much. This one probably won't be too much. This one over here is actually a pretty large one and not going to be too much. Uh, these are definitely deep. So I think my goal will actually be to cross the map, take this one and this one first, right? These two. Uh, because this one, again, not that much. We, we, we want to keep the creeper at cap as much as possible. So definitely take this, definitely take this. And then the choice for after that is either take these or this. Or maybe go for this. But once we take this, this, and probably either corner, then we're going to start saying, okay, let's go for the deep pools. So this is sort of a going for speedish type map because, you know, it's it's we, we were challenged. We were challenged, but explicitly challenged. So let's turn on our map indicator yet again uh, and get to here, get to up here, and then decide from there, right? Again, the more map that we cover, the better, too. So it's sort of like a win, 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 win. Let's go, creep cursor. Move your buttocks. Uh, that's right, there are multiple buttocks on my creeper cursor. It's got at least two, at least two, maybe three, maybe three. Uh, but we are on the move, and as you can see, we're just easily taking that out just by passing by. And I don't want to kill that much creeper, I just want to get across. Because look at that, we're already over the creeper cap, which feels pretty good to me. Uh, so we'll do this, and let's make sure we actually take this, right? We want to actually take it. Uh, we've made it across to our second assault zone i guess you could call it and we're sort of just spreading our creep around nice and nice and nice so let's take up here we're still at 1.1 so we're still over creeper cap which is great means we're not gonna have anything breeding against us i love that fact and i think we're going down i think i like the downside uh not the downside but it doesn't kill that much creep to come down here and we're actually gonna wait a second we're gonna let the breeding set uh breeding zone pass the next five seconds uh, do, 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 and now we're going to assault, right? Because now we might drop it below cap, but we're not going to incur any excess breeding by doing so. So now we sort of have the opposite side from the start. We have the center and we have the start. And we're still right around creeper cap, which is actually kind of perfect because that means we can and maybe will be able to push up here. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We're just pushing in. This might hurt a bit because, yeah, we're pushing below cap now. Things are going to breed. It's a shame, but that's okay. It shouldn't breed too much. Yeah, it's already hit cap again. So, yeah, now we're pushing to the corner, which is going to be great. Unfortunately, it did breed, which is going to hurt us a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. One good thing about them breeding is those deep areas, like, all their creep sort of spreads out. Uh, I want to make sure we don't lose that top left corner while we go for over here. Uh, bazinga, bazinga. Let's push, push, push. We can do it. We're the best. We're the strongest. And we pretty much got it. Yes. Yeah, we got it. We got it. No problems. There was never any doubt in my mind. Ah, oh, see? Nice, nice, quick, easy cursor map. See, look look how easy we can flow in once we sort of break the uh, the wave that comes out, right? Because it's actually pushing that deep creep away, so it's actually more beneficial to come for the deeper ones later, right? Because now there's that wave. Now, unfortunately, this is the bounce wave off of the back. I don't think we're going to be able to make it in time. Oh, we just missed it. But this is going to be super easy to take, right? Because even the bounce wave is actually going the opposite direction now. Trying to take it from the bottom so the bounce wave does go away from me. Uh, and yeah, our goal, again, is just take the creep. So now we can take this top side. And then we'll go for that big one in the center. And I think we're going to... I think we sussed it out. I think that was a pretty good route. I, I don't know. Uh, Tricky, tell me, tell me if there's a better route. I don't know. I kind of like this route. Felt pretty good to me. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, fingers crossed my internet actually stays online this time, which so far it is. Uh, honestly, ever since the whole summer heat thing happened, my internet's been sort of flaking out from time to time, which is a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. But now we have all the breeding zones, and it's literally just kill this creep that's coming around the map. Uh, there really isn't anything left to it other than just take the creep. 
take the creek, and we're just going to try and cut it in half as much as possible. Follow this wave, because this wave is really where most of the creep is left. As you can see, the left and right side are just sort of dying naturally to our little breeding sections. Uh, take it to the top of the mountain. Actually, that's probably the best thing to do. You go to the top of the mountain, you cut it straight in half. It's beautiful, you know. Yeah, get rid of that, get rid of all of this. That's beautiful. Then we'll come over to this side. That's a little bit deeper. But again, it's just clean up from here. It's just clean up. We're right around four minutes. Uh, not perfect, not the wet. I don't know if it's the best. I don't know. It seems, seems pretty fast, but you know, there could be faster. There could be faster. Uh, this felt pretty good. I think that's all. We're charging. Ah, uh, there's still a little bit of creep. No more. No more creep. Yes. All right, so we did this in just over four minutes and change. So again, a nice fast cursor map. So this has been two fast cursor maps. Let's see how we did. Uh, I think we're, I, I want to say this felt pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. So let's see. Uh, plenty of foam parties to be had. You gotta love it. Look at it go. Woo! Build our girthy foam. Yes. Yes. But what do we have? We have a Rift Jump Ahoy. This one, 439. Uh, 558, 5523, 459. Ooh. Feels pretty fast. Feels pretty fast. Yeah, I, th I think we uh, we snuck this one through at least. Whew. Okay, we didn't get a sneaky first place at least. Whew. Very close there. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That has been two quick cursor maps. Uh, not too many cursor maps are coming out these days. So, you know, we're coming to the end of the cursor section of the Creeper World Tour. But please hit a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, feel free to make more and suggest them. I would love to play more. Uh, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you next time. Take care.